Hi, I'm Chris, and today we'll be talking about the use of daisy chains in regards to their use in climbing, and just some of the information that you'll need to know before you can use a daisy chain safely outdoors. So the first thing that you should know is that you should never use a daisy chain to anchor yourself to a belay. A daisy chain is only meant for use in aid climbing, and it's only meant to support your body weight. In a proper aid climbing scenario, the rope is always part of the system, so if you fall, that rope is going to help with the energy absorption and help keep you safe. Take that rope away, and you, if you fall on a daisy chain, um, the daisy chain isn't that long, so it doesn't absorb much energy, so you could end up shock loading it, and the daisy chain could snap, or it'll put a lot of pressure on you, or a lot of pressure on the anchor, and the anchor could fail. None of those are a good scenario, so just be sure to keep those few ideas in mind before you use a daisy chain. Now, you should never be looping a carabiner through multiple pockets. So the reason for that is because if you load it, and in this example I'm using scotch tape just to show what could happen, but if you load it, then that carabiner is going to snap that tack and then you're going to be not connected to anything anymore. That carabiner is just going to slip right out and you're going to be in trouble. The other thing to make sure you keep in mind is if you do shorten it up, uh, you could put a twist in it, but it's kind of hard to see if you're doing it correctly. It can get a little confusing, especially if you're tired. Um, on a climb and things like that. So it's just better to take a second carabiner, bring it up, and then clip that second carabiner through the first carabiner, and then that way you can be sure that uh, you're all set. There's no uh, wondering if you got it right or not. So anyway, I hope that you found some of this information helpful. We have a lot more on the blog, so be sure to click this right here and you'll head over to the blog to see additional info.